I am Ravi, Ravi Handa. I am the founder of the website handakafunda.com. And in this series of videos, we are going to talk about what the complete CAT syllabus is. I have already recorded a few videos in this series. In the earlier videos, we first talked about what the complete CAT syllabus was, what was the sectional breakup, what is quant made of, what is verbal made of, and stuff like that. Then, in one of the videos, I talked about the complete details of number system. In another video, I talked about the complete details of algebra. And in today's video, I'll talk about the complete details of arithmetic. So this is broadly how the arithmetic section is structured or divided. First of all, arithmetic is again an important part of quant, probably a little more important than number system and modern maths and a little less important than algebra and geometry. So you can say that it is somewhere in the middle portion of when it comes to quant. Now let's see how the arithmetic section is divided. You also need to understand that there will be roughly 6% to 7% of the CAT paper total will be from arithmetic. To begin with, you will need to understand concepts like averages, mean, median mode and percentages. Now, it is extremely unlikely that you will get a question which is based directly on averages, directly on mean, median mode or directly on percentages. But the concepts that you will learn here, they will be applied in the other questions. Very similarly, simple interest in compound interest, a direct application of the formula is extremely unlikely, but you might get something on installments. Now, I don't remember a question on installments in the last two to three years, but it does get asked sometimes. And what I'm trying to say is something on this is asked even less frequently. But once again, let's say if you want to excel in data interpretation, then you need to be really, really good with averages and percentages and stuff like that, because they can be directly applied in the DI questions. Profit and loss, again, a concept which comes in handy in DI, you may get a question on this. So this is again a maybe. Ratio and proportion, again, an important concept to understand. Again, you may get a question on it. Mixture and allegation, again, you may get a question on it. See, the idea that I'm trying to say is that you may get a question on any of these topics. So these four are the least likely. These are the maybe category. Time, speed and distance on the other hand is a lot more important. I can virtually say that it is guaranteed that you will get a question on this, at least one question on this. Clocks, well, if you are preparing for other MBA exams other than CAT like CMAT or SNAP, you will get a question on clocks. But in CAT, it is extremely unlikely. I think you can virtually rule out a question on a topic like clocks or a question on a topic like calendars in CAT. But once again, you if you are writing CAT, it's safe to assume that you will be writing exams like SNAP or IAFT and stuff like that. There a question on clocks can come. Time and work is again something which more or less you can be rest assured that there will be a question on it. So once again, just to summarize, the two topics in arithmetic that you should be really sure of and really confident about, time, speed and distance and time and work because you will get questions on these two. On the other hand, profit and loss, ratio proportion, mixture allegation, these are all in the maybe category. Averages, mean, median mode, percentages, these are concepts that you need to know so that you can solve the TSD question, so that you can solve the time and work question, so that you can solve the DI questions. So this is how I would say that the relative importance of arithmetic is. So when you are practicing, first spend some time in understanding the concepts which are mentioned here, but when you are practicing actually questions and you are looking at mocks and you are looking at difficult questions, probably you should focus primarily on time, speed and distance and time and work. And well, le let me also put profit and loss and ratio and proportion and mixture and allegation because these are the lesser probable areas. These are the higher probable areas. Hope you learned something about this video about arithmetic. Please visit my website handakafunda.com for more details. Thank you.